Each spot that you see here represents an individual galaxy. Distinct colors help you distinguish different components. Now all the galaxies are assigned the same neutral color. Our Milky Way galaxy is at the center of the cube. The display is in supergalactic coordinates. The SGX, SGY, and SGZ axes are colored red, green, and blue respectively. 1800 of these galaxies have accurately measured distances. These galaxies are given colors here that indicate the deviation of their velocities from the cosmic expansion. Galaxies that are deviant in the sense that they have motions toward us are colored blue. Galaxies that are moving away from us relative to the cosmic expansion are colored red. Note the preponderance of red in the upper half of the scene indicating a general expansion away from us in that sector. By contrast, there is a preponderance of blue in the lower half of the scene, indicating a flow toward us in that sector. Now, the cosmic expansion is characterized by the intermediate value of the Hubble constant of 74 km per second per megaparsec. The color coding for peculiar velocities is now more elaborate. The orange vector emanating from our position at the center of the box shows our motion with respect to the ensemble of galaxies within 3,000 kilometers per second. We now isolate a region immediately around our galaxy. Let us give it a closer look. The dense blob of blue near the right boundary is the Virgo cluster. Surrounding us, most galaxies are colored yellow and light green, indicating only small relative motions. If our galaxy has a peculiar motion, it is shared by all our nearest neighbors. The other obvious feature of this region is the predominance of blue associated with galaxies below the equatorial plane. The orange vector representing our motion with respect to galaxies within 3000 kilometers per second can be partitioned into two components. The blue vector points toward the Virgo cluster. The red vector is the residual it points away from the local void. The extensive pattern of blue around Virgo can be attributed to a collapse toward the Virgo cluster that we participate in. There is a bipolar symmetry between this blue pattern at negative SGZ and a red pattern at positive SGZ. The positive SGY motion can be ascribed to the pull of the Virgo cluster. The negative SGZ motion is suspected to be due to the push of the local void. We attempt to represent the region of the local void with three ellipses. The region of low density at plus SGZ is extensive, but in detail there are wispy filaments that cause us to separate the volume into three separate void regions. As before, the orange vector represents our motion with respect to galaxies within 3,000 kilometers per second. Now we add the cyan vector, which indicates our motion with respect to the cosmic microwave background. And we add the brown vector, which is the residual of the subtraction of the orange vector from the cyan vector. We have just added the distribution of Abel clusters of galaxies in a box bounded at 20,000 kilometers per second on the cardinal axes. Near the center of the volume, mostly within the inner box, there are eight clusters colored cyan. The brown vector, which identifies our motion caused by large-scale influences, is pointed almost at the Centaurus cluster. Take notice of the large number of symbols colored red just behind these central cyan objects. This is the Shapley concentration of galaxies. <laughs>